Hello, and thanks for watching this tutorial. This is one in a series of three tutorials focused on local energy master planning. This tutorial will provide an overview of energy master planning. Over the next few minutes, we'll cover the following areas. What is an energy master plan? What is the purpose of an energy master plan? What are the potential components of an energy master plan? And how can you start to plan? So first, what is an energy master plan? An energy master plan uh, could be said to be a comprehensive, forward-looking plan of action, informed by research and driven by stakeholders to guide decisions around energy according to established goals and targets. It's a chance to take stock of your energy supply and look ahead to the future to plan what energy decisions you can make to have the kind of energy policies that you want. There are multiple examples of energy master plans at all different levels of governance. At the state level, uh, we have to look to New Jersey, uh, and it, where in 2011, an energy master plan was put forward. At the county level, um, there's an example in Arlington County in Virginia, where they put together uh, an element of their comprehensive plan, a community energy plan. And famously, New York City is well known for its uh, sustainability plans, which focuses a lot on energy and the ways that energy can be made more efficient and, and used more wisely in the city. So both Plan YC and its follow-up One New York are both examples of local energy master plans. And more and more uh, smaller communities uh, are beginning to do energy master plans as well as, as a chance to uh, get better control of their energy future. So what is the purpose of an energy master plan? There are many purposes uh, of carrying out a master plan. We're going to cover them. Uh, the first is the opportunity to identify and bring together leaders, uh, people who are knowledgeable about energy and people who are integrated with energy. Uh, it's important for you to consider who are the people necessary to consider the future of energy in your community. Another purpose is the opportunity to come together and build a shared understanding of goals. There are lots of different decisions to be made around energy in your community, and this is really uh, an opportunity to bring people together, to find the things that you agree on uh, to create that long-term energy future. Importantly, it's also uh, the opportunity to inventory. Uh, ways that you're using energy as a community and the different initiatives you have in place around energy. Some of these things aren't always so clear and an energy master plan gives you an opportunity to really lay them out very clearly. Uh, next, another purpose of the energy master plan uh, is once you agree on a set of goals and understand what kind of energy you have, you really have an opportunity as a community to come together and prioritize the steps you need to take to get to the future that you see in your goals. Uh, additionally, uh, another purpose is uh, a chance for you to mobilize the community. Uh, if the plan is done in a way that involves the community and community can see their participation in it, you really have a chance to have a plan uh, that mobilizes the community, engages them, and gets them involved with these decisions as well. Uh, another purpose is to seek commitments to the plan. Uh, it's one thing to make a plan. It's another to lay, you know, to lay out uh, the goals that you want to achieve. Uh, you're going to need partners and people to commit to this plan. This is a real opportunity to seek those commitments, decisions, and, and have people engage in a way uh, that, that sees the outcome of the plan. And finally, uh, another purpose of doing an energy master plan is the opportunity to track your progress. Um, if you do this plan correctly, you can develop uh, different strategies in ways that allow you to measure your progress and then share your results will be one of those communities doing this uh, planning effort and can serve as a model to others. So now that we understand the purpose of a master plan, uh, what are the potential components of this plan? If you wanted to go and do a plan yourself, what are the things that you would need to look for? Most plans begin with a vision. This is your opportunity to state your principles. What do you believe as a community and where do you want to go? What do you want your future to look like? is a really important and critical part of the plan because all of the things that come after it uh, should align with it and be working towards that. Uh, here's an example of a vision from one of the plans we mentioned before, the energy plan in Arlington County, Virginia. 
It says, this community energy plan seeks to mitigate the risks of our present energy use by improving the reliability of energy sources by localizing energy generation, reducing price volatility and the long-term cost of energy through efficiency and diversification, reducing the environmental impact of energy use through efficiency and cleaner sources of energy. So in this vision, you can see how they, uh, Arlington sees a different uh, place for themselves in terms of energy, and you start to see some of the ideas and ways that they want to get there. This vision uh, is critically important to always come back to and make sure that decisions that are being made aligns with this vision. Another component of an energy plan is the background. This is the chance for you as a community to show all that you are doing. Um, what are you already doing around energy? Even things that you might not have realized intersect with energy, including roads and vehicle use and alternative uh, means of transportation. What are you doing and, and how is that um, adding to your community? This is a good chance for that in this. Third, as we mentioned earlier, uh, the opportunity to inventory where you are at as a community in terms of where you get your energy sources from, what, what the profile is of those, um, what kinds of greenhouse gases you're emitting. Uh, this is uh, critical to feed the strategies um, and because you need to know where you currently are if you want. Uh, we included an example on here of the New York City's energy consumption and greenhouse gas emissions. And you can see a lot of work goes into finding exactly where the energy comes from and how much uh, is being emitted because of those sources. This is a real opportunity and, and an eye-opening opportunity for you as a community to get a sense of where your, where your energy comes from. Uh, fourth are goals and strategies. Uh, now that you've understood everything that you're doing, uh, you have a vision and you know the, the sources of your energy and the profile and the greenhouse gas emissions, you can begin to start to chart out um, how you would get to that vision. What are your goals? What are your strategies? How will you achieve this vision across a range of categories? These categories uh, could include things such as efficiency strategies for, for buildings, whether uh, public buildings or if you want to get to the level of uh, private buildings and policies that encourage efficiency there. Uh, the opportunity for changing your supply where you can, uh, bringing in more renewables. Obviously, microgrids is a critically important uh, asset of an energy master plan. If you're going to be pursuing microgrids, an energy master plan is going to be critical to help you achieve that. Transportation, how can you green your fleets? Uh, how can you institute bike share programs? These are all examples of strategies that can get you to your vision. The importance of integrating this work with your other efforts, uh, whether it's your master plans or, or other planning efforts that are going on, and there will be another tutorial uh, on the integration with the uh, municipal master plans. And then finally, how do you broadcast and engage the, the people um, in, in helping to achieve this vision? There are actions that every one of us, every one of our residents, every one of our members of our community can take uh, to achieve this energy vision. And, and the more that we can lay out, um, lay that out clearly for them, the, the better we're gonna achieve these goals. So uh, another potential component of an energy master plan is uh, an important step. Because if we're laying out these goals and we're laying out these visions and strategies and we know um, how our energy makeup uh, is, is comprised of, of which sources, we want to be sure that we're having success uh, with the uh, ideas and strategies that we're putting forward. So we want to lay out a plan for implementation and monitoring going forward. Uh, this could involve something of, of going back every, every three or five years and, and making sure we're achieving these, or it could be uh, something where we set up uh, something with our municipal, um, our municipal systems to, to have check-ins at, at town meetings or municipal meetings. Uh, the important thing here is that we want to keep our eye on what we're doing and make sure that we're hitting the targets that we've set. So how can we start to plan? Uh, the good news is you may already be doing this in ways that you didn't even know. Uh, parts of our municipal master plans uh, definitely intersect with energy. Uh, and, and many of you may be a part of the Sustainable Jersey effort. Uh, this, you know, there's a large component of sustaining, Sustainable Jersey's certification that focuses on uh, energy efficiency, ways to improve our energy sources. So joining that program and being a part of that program is one way you can do this. Um, you can do it more comprehensively. You can, you can decide to take it on yourself or you can work with outside experts to help you do this. 
Uh, the Rocky Mountain Institute uh, gives a, a wonderful, some of the information we took from this uh, for the, to make this tutorial uh, was following Rocky Mountain Institute's guidance. Uh, they provide step-by-step uh, -step how you can begin to do this and have a very useful uh, resource to help you do this on your own or with a consultant. Akeley is uh, another consultant that, that you can work with. Uh, they work all across the world and their focus is on um, sustainability and energy is a large part of what they do. Uh, ICLE has helped communities throughout our region uh, to determine where their sources of greenhouse gas emissions are coming from. These are just some examples that you can use to, help, to get started, but this is really something that you can start on your own today um, by working together with your stakeholders and following these steps. So in conclusion, uh, we've provided an overview of energy master plans. Uh, we've discussed the purpose of, of doing them. Uh, we've delved into the potential components of a plan, and we've uh, laid out a couple practical steps you can take. To Thank you for listening to this tutorial.